Okay guys, as usual, I'm gonna start with my Milani Priming Shields just to make sure those pores are nice and blurred. And then we're gonna jump into our foundation. I'm gonna mix my favorite foundation from Milani and with my Argan Oil by Physicians Formula just to give me a dewy look for the summer. And going in with my Urban Decay Weightless Concealer, I'm going to use a beauty blender just to blend that out. You wanna just highlight the areas of the face where you want lightness to be which is usually under the eyes and on the forehead and the chin and using my NYX set it don't fret it um, setting powder I'm just going to set my face everywhere where I put the concealer now going in with the beautiful palette by Stila and going in with this shade right here and we're just going to apply that all over our lids and this is going to be used as like a transition 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 shade <laughs> Going into this beautiful rose goldy color, we're gonna apply that all over our lid, and um, you want to pack this on. You don't want to kind of rub it on your on your lid. You kind of want to pack it on or tap it motions. And once you have the colors on your lid, you want to jump into that shade right there, and you're just gonna put that directly on your uh, crease. You want to take your time when you're doing this. I did this a few times where I would apply it just to get the intensity that I want. And then I take a fluffy brush, which you'll see in a few, um, where I start blending it out. So I repeated that step a few times, maybe four or five times before I light the intensity of the color. So basically, the more shadow you put in, the darker it will be, obviously. And then you just want to always make sure you blend out the harsh lines. Now I'm taking some concealer and I'm just going to clean that up a bit just so it's easier to put apply our liner. And I'm going into this purpley shade here and just to darken that a little bit more. And um, yeah, just to give it some more depth. It just depth, depth. <laughs> now going in with this eyeliner by I believe it's L'Oreal in Black is Black. And we're just going to do our liner like normal. I didn't want the liner to be exaggerated today. Just very nice and simple, very nice winged liner. Now going back into the palette with this brown shade right here, we're going to start smoking out the bottom lash line. I didn't want it to be too exaggerated, but I did want to smoke it under there. I didn't want to leave it completely empty. And then the same shade that I used on my lid, I just applied that towards the inner section of the uh, bottom lash line. Now going in with this NYX liner, any black liner would do. And I just want to coat my um, waterline from my lower lashes just to give it a little bit of pop. And then you just want to apply some mascara before you apply your falsies. I did apply my falsies out of, of camera, but I will link them down below. Going into my Anastasia Contour Cam, I'm going to use this shade right here. And we're just going to contour, just cut our cheeks, make it look nice and chiseled. And um, we're going to do the same thing to the other side, our foreheads, our chin. And you do not have to contour your forehead or any any part really you can skip this step if you like it's just gonna give us a more put together look I do contour my nose slightly a little bit as well you can totally skip it as well I'm not going into this beautiful blush shade right here I just thought it was like a very orangey apricot I don't, I don't know it's just very beautiful very glowy and I really loved it for this look obviously it's in the palette so it complements the colors very well and I'm going to just use a stippling brush just to kind of blend everything together just to make sure everything is nice and blended and there are no harsh lines. Going into my glow kit in that glow by Anastasia, we're just going to highlight our cheeks, our top of the brows, our nose, our cupid's bow, anywhere you want to highlight. Typically we highlight the highest points of our face where the light usually hits and it's just going to reflect the lightness and it's going to look gorgeous in the sunlight. And any light actually. And once again with my stippling brush, I just wanted to make sure that everything is nice and blended. For lips, I went in with Lax by ColourPop. It's this gorgeous, very brownish, nude, not nude, wait, what I meant to say wine color. It just I just felt like this look in particular, you can do it with a nude, but I felt like the dark lip would just be such such a beautiful shade with this um, makeup look. I did take some of that concealer and I'm just going to apply that in the center of the lip just to give it an ombre-ish look. And that is it. Once I finish spraying my face with the infallible makeup setting spray, I am all set. This is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I do have a peekaboo now in my hair for you guys who have noticed and um yeah so thank you guys for watching i love you guys and i will see you in my next video